Hello! Been a while since I posted, I know. I thought I've been really busy lately um, working on that motor controller. I've just finished running a load of simulations and I can confirm really exciting news. We'll be releasing a totally off the wall, out there type of motor controller. Um, what I will tell you is it doesn't use six step trapezoidal drive. It doesn't use field oriented control. Well, FOC, it doesn't use FOC. It doesn't use space vector pulse width modulation. It's way better than that, way better. So yeah, really excited. Here's the plans moving forward. I've got a, I've built a few more circuits. Um, what I wanted to do was use a STM32 F446RE microcontroller. So it's like the ST nuclear board, really cheap as well. It's got some great timers in there, and nice ADCs in the chip as well. Um, and yeah, uh, other than that, I've designed a. I've had to. The IR2110 drive circuitry has to accept 5 volts, it likes 5 volts, it doesn't like 3.3. Doesn't like so what I've done, I, I wanted to um, electrically isolate the board from the driver anyway, including the ground. So I didn't want the ground of the microcontroller board anywhere near, or, or the outputs anywhere directly connected to the IR2110. So what I've done, to kill two birds with one stone, I've taken some opto isolators, just made a simple little circuit um, to isolate the signals coming out of the 3.3 volt coming out of the STM32 to not only isolate but also bring the outputs up to 5 volts. So the, the inputs going into the transistor side of the opto isolator is 5.5 volts. Brilliant! Um, other than that, I had a few problems with getting the signals through because this algorithm that I've created is very dependent on timings. It needs to be really spot on. So what I was having trouble with, and I've made a load of videos about this, so I've just literally got to get home and post them up. So they, they are there are some more videos coming soon. Um, so I had a trouble with like the opto isolator. Um, like I could get it to turn on really fast within two microseconds, which is acceptable but the turn off time was taking forever so it was having to mess about with that like you think opto isolators not a lot not a lot doing there but yeah it was a good day of mucking around to get a, an acceptable input versus output graph on a signal so but I managed to get the output time within three millisec uh, three microseconds Whew. That, was, that would have been a mistake. Yeah, so um, very happy with the way things are going. It's very good. Um, I say I've got, I've run about five simulations now because I, I just kept saying to myself, no, this somebody would have invented this already. <laughs> but no. So the plan moving forward, within the next year, I want a fully constructed motor controller that's perfect. Um, I want to have it in a vehicle. And I want to absolutely smash the electric uh, land record. I think it's. I don't know. Put it in the comments below. What isn't it? One thousand two hundred miles? Something like that. I, yeah, something like that. Um, so yeah, that's what's coming up. So be a few more build videos. I've got. I've got the opto isolator circuit to build. Um, STM thirty two integration. And what else was there? Something else. Oh yeah, just a new V-Bus sensor and a, and a new current shunt sensor. And that's pretty much, well, three of them. And that's pretty much it. Uh, oh, and also, regenerative braking. Big improvements on that as well. So, a lot more energy now gets captured. That's really good. Yeah, so, um, I think I'll start off with some circuit videos and then move on to the STM32. The Arduino was never going to calculate these times um, as quickly as I wanted. It was close. If I did, I even did um, 
I even took away some of the processing power uh, from the processor to commutate the different sections, just to move the sections from one to the other. I even did a bit of diode logic, so 12 diodes, um, so that you can just flick a switch and it goes to the next logic. So a little bit of diode logic. I thought, hey, you know, I've got hundreds of diodes sat there, use them for something. <laughs> but yeah, coming soon, boys, so I will upload a video very soon and we will be driving electric cars to the moon very soon promise 100% <laughs> latest for now